Hello, Internet Hookah Pros, YouTubes, and everybody else out there watching the video. I'm going to do an unboxing now from something that is unprecedentedly late to do. I should have done this a long time ago, but I had extenuating circumstances. However, here is a box from Tureen Hookah. Now, let, let me make sure. I've read it a hundred times, I've typed it a few times, I just haven't committed the pronunciation of that to memory. Yeah, T-E-R-R-E-N-E. -R -R -E -E. I'm going to call that Tureen. If it's not Tureen, I'm a boob. So, we've got this well, well taped up box from Tureen Hookah for winning the third place, third? Second. Third, third price, price, third price. Mm, yay, still get the surprise. That's awesome. Anyway, third place prize for their Halloween contest. Yes, I'm getting this done after Christmas. Yeah. So, let's get this open. This isn't me. This isn't me. It's not me. I don't use scissors. I am limited to what I can use. I am limited to what I have on hand. But, let's see here. Oh. I'm going to use a plain old brick. That ought to get it open pretty quickly. Okay. See what we've got. All right. First off, out of the box, we have some shisha, Al Fakr, the staple of any hookah enthusiast, pro, or lover's cabinet. We have cocktail flavor. I've never done cocktail flavor. Awesome. There's a review. Blueberry. I don't know if I've done straight blueberry or not. I'll find out. Mint. Best mixer ever. But is this a good batch? I don't know. As you'll notice, these are the new packages. The new packaging for Alfakar, so they should be nice and fresh and lovely. But Alfakar's quality in mint goes up and down like a roller coaster. So we'll see what that's about. And lastly, a flavor I would not have picked for myself. Thus, I have not done a review. Kiwi. I'll be happy to review Kiwi. Now, what else? We have Black Diamond, 100% natural, diamond, black diamond charcoals. Uh, and a nice little brick, no packaging, just a plastic seal and a label. These will undergo some serious testing and be in a review for sure. Next, we have a little stripe of hose in a baggie. What could this be about? Well, ugh. come on, come on. Oh, the little teeny tiny stripe of hose. Oh, it's cute, and it says Conjar on it. I know what else is in this box. Hey. That draws not bad. It looks small, but it draws nice. It is um, kind of short, but it's washable, so that's good. I like that. Also in the baggie, alluding to the nature of the rest of the package, is some Conjar Teeny Tongs. See, it says Conjar. And you know what these remind me of? Take one of these. 
giving a Mario shroom. Brum, 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 brum. And it turns into a Sahara smoke. Stamped. Hmm. Gee. That's curious. It's cute. We got a baby and a daddy tongs. Baby and daddy. Okay, done. Sorry. More in the box. Cute. As you may have guessed, there is a Kanjar Night Hookah, the main event of the box. I've never owned a Kanjar. I've never smoked out of one. This is going to be an extensive review on its own. I've been very wary about them because of the construction, but perhaps that is all guff and I don't need to be scared. We will find out. And with it, we've got a cute little conjar bowl. Yep. Not my favorite pick in bowls because, well, because it's a vortex and its holes look extremely small. Can you see them? A little bit there? Very small holes. But it'll look good as a set. And last, but most certainly not least, we have a black silicon hose with aluminum mouthpiece and end. And due to time travel and shit, you will have seen this in a few reviews so far, probably. Mmm. Tastes like future's past. Anyway, Extremely good hose. I love it. The best thing is they were nice enough to send two different two different end bits, one more narrow and one wider, and two handles. One with this neat little stripe and Beetlejuice in silver kind of design. And the other you just saw, which is solid black, but has ribby bubbles on it. A lot like a fancy hose. And we will be doing some comparisons with this to a fancy hose in the next review. If reviews are posted in succession. But you will see it in the title that this is going to be covered in a flavor review. How, what's the best way to test a hose? Do it at the same time as you're smoking something, right? Right. Wow. Thank you very much, Tureen Hookah, for this wonderful package. And I forgot to show this off. What am I doing? I'm trying to close the video without showing you the main item. All right, so, box. Hookah. Ah. Very interesting. It deserves a review of its own. Because it is made in a fashion that very few are made of. This middle heart piece is ceramic. Now, I've seen a few different Kanjar knights before, and it's very interesting to me that uh, they're all called knight, and yet they have different versions, different models. I do wish the tray was secured properly, but that will be in its own close look review. So now I will say thank you very much, Tureen, for, well, the prize box, everything. Very lovely, very nice. I'm going to benefit doing reviews quite a bit, and I'm still going to say, even though this is not the official look at this hose, I am super duper impressed with it. So, I'll see you next time.